What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with some more of the Forgotten City. Last episode, we found out that the Jarl has a creepy sex dungeon thing where he's keeping a resident. And, uh, yeah. This, this, this thing is happening. So, we don't know what we're really going to do about this. Uh, I think we can't tell him about it. Like, we can't go tell the people about it because then they're just gonna like rise up and kill them and then the whole city's gonna die so we can't do that so I'm not sure what we're gonna do exactly but I guess we could just explore the city a little bit we do um, have the book of the dwarves law that we can give to Brol and see what we can do from there I don't know why I said his name so weird Brol but yeah, I think if we even, like, we talk to the Jarl, he'll be like, Get the fuck out of my face. So, that sucks. I, th I think that's pretty much what he says. Get out of my citadel. I'm bored of you. It's super weird that the Jarl ended up being, like, a bad guy. Because I thought he was, from the trailer of the, um, of the game, and so far how we went, uh, I thought he was gonna be, like, the good guy, you know? Because, like, he was the one that said, you have to save my people. You gotta make sure we don't die. But maybe this is more of a selfish thing where he didn't want to die. S who knows? But yeah, so we need to talk to Brol. We need to find anything out about the city. We've heard that there's underground tunnels. And there's underground tunnels, like, inside the basement of some of the cities. Or some of the uh, houses. So maybe we can find a key or maybe find another entrance into there and see if, what we can find those are our, our own chambers i think this is brawls yep so we'll talk to the brawl see what he gives us about the um the book we found see if he has any information about it what's up brawl uh, neighbor made any exciting new discoveries uh i did i found a way into the palace brilliant what did you find in there um, it was overrun by undead, resurrected by Narnabus. He's dead. How terrible. But not unexpected. Narnabus was a reckless fellow. But did you discover something about the Dwarves' Law? Some relic or text? You figured necromancy would break the Dwarves' Law, but apparently it didn't. Uh, I did find this speech about the Dwarves' Law surrounded by burnt corpses. Let me see it. That is... Disturbing. This Doratus fellow set out to disprove the existence of the Dwarves' Law, and instead triggered some kind of mass execution. So the Dwarves' Law is real, and can be triggered simply by striking another person. I take no pleasure in being vindicated in relation to this, but there's something else that troubles me. If the Dwarves' Law is still being enforced, does that not suggest the existence of some kind of judge? And this judge, who watches over us, must be somewhere inside the city. I need you to find whoever, or whatever it is. And when you do, well, I'm not going to say it out loud. But do whatever you need to do, for yourself, and for us all. Alright. Very well. Come okay, so we figured that out. So, you discover. maybe that's what's in the underground tunnels. Maybe there's actually a dude that's, uh, like, can, watching everybody. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. So, I guess we can go look around and see if we can find any place where we could get into, um, the underground Okay, this is the bar. I don't think it's in there. We've been in all these houses so far. We've been Rikus's. I don't know if we've been in this house. Vernon's house. Uh, yeah, we'll check Vernon's house. I don't think he has anything to hide in there. We could just go door to door and check everything out. Oh, what's up, Vernon? Look, friend, you've outstayed your welcome here. Oh, uh, yeah. Windhelm letters. Hold on. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Still here? I, oh, I'll leave. Jesus Christ, Vernon! I'm helping you with the fucking situation. I was gonna read the fucking Windhelm journal you got there. All right. Well, 
think this is actually a door. Oh shit, this is actually a door. This area is not safe. Enter at your own wrist. Jarl Metalis. Alright. Oh shit, is it the underground tunnels we were looking for? Man, I wish we had a torch. I can't see shit in here. <laughs> what was my uh, brightness at? Maybe we'll bump it up a little bit. I don't want to bump it up because it's like everything else is fine. It's just this cave's dark. I'll have to find like a torch somewhere. <gasps> is that a Machinate helmet? Oh shit, yeah it is. So what do we got? We have boots, gauntlets, and helmet. And according to Rikus, the only uh, piece. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um, apparently that's radiated. That's why we need the suit. Because if we read the suit, wakes wear immune from radiation when worn as a complete set. All right. So. We need Rikus's armor. Because if there's someone under the city, like, controlling this, or someone in the city, it, he's got to be down there. Like, it's a no-brainer he's down there. But, what, how are we going to do that? How are we going to get down there? We have to kill Rikus. There's no way around it, because we can't persuade him, we can't intimidate him. Because we've tried that before, and he doesn't do anything. So we're gonna have to kill Rikus. We're gonna have to kill Rikus. I guess we can look at some of these more, these uh, Virulin's house. We know kind of Just his story. Yeah, whatever. Yismar's house. I don't know if there's anything in here. She's a Nord, I think. Oh shit! Sorry, 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 sorry. It's. I don't think anyone's gonna like us being in their house. So. All right. So, if we break the law, what happens? Everyone dies. But does that mean your mentalist still gets information out? Can we, like, go back in time again? Or does the Let's Play just end? Like, we have to kill Rikus, right? Because he says it's the only set of armor in the entire town. And we've been pretty much everywhere. We've talked to all the dwarven scholars. We've been in the castle. We've been in the palace. I don't think there's anywhere else in the game we can go besides the underground parts of the city which is we can't get there unless we have the other set of armor and we don't have a key to get downstairs and I'm pretty sure we already fucked that up because we're not gonna get the key from a Jarl because he hates us right now so the only thing I think we can do is kill Rikus so we gotta kill Rikus and maybe we can get the armor and run down there before everyone dies. Who knows? Okay, which one's Rikus's house? Alright. So, we're just gonna have to buckle down and kill Rikus. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We'll save right now, just in case. But we'll see what happens. Cause I'm pretty sure yeah. These are this is what's watching us. That thing. I, mean, I don't think we can destroy it. Even though fucking the Jarl somehow figured a way to destroy it. Alright. Time to kill Rikus. And this isn't just like, oh, we have to kill him, get the armor. I've been thinking about we've gotta have to kill him for the armor for a long time. Since the first pair of boots we got from Brandis, and when we got the boots from him. I knew we had to get the full set to do something, and that was going to be important, and uh, he's just going to have to die if he's not going to give it to us. Sorry, friend. The many shall suffer uh -oh. for the sins of the oh, one. please don't kill me. It would be embarrassing if I died. Do you hear the voice? Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That one shots me. All right. Good to know. Alright, let's just turn the difficulty down. I think it's on Master again. Oh, 
please. Oh, no, it's broken. Oh, there it goes. Alright, try again. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rikus. Farrell meant to list to the lake house and use the portal again. It was. I'm gonna take your armor. Alright. Take the full set. Oh fuck, we are over encumbered. Uh fuck, by 30 weight. Crap. Uh drop the helmet. And our breastplate. We got this now, so. Oh no, we want that. We need that. We don't want to put that back in there after we killed him. Alright. Oh shit, the fucking Centurions around the city. Oh god. Oh god! Holy shit. I don't think I can hit it. Alright, we need to go. We, we need to book it. Alright, we need to go to the lake house, I said. I wonder if we go back in there and walk out. Maybe we're fine. And we can just restart. But now we have the armor. So, when we see Rikus, he's going to be confused. Okay, we have it on. Okay, so we failed Forget-Me-Not. My bad. Alright. Oh, your letter? Alright, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that too. Alright. So we just go back in. Okay. Oh, this is like nothing ever happened. Forget me not. You there? Where did you come from? You know we've had this conversation before. What are you talking about? I've never met you. Yes, you have. You're gonna offer to escort me to your mentalist. I. Uh... Right, I was. How could you have possibly known that? I'm a time traveler. No, if you excuse me. I, is that some kind of sorcerer? Uh, well, I don't want any trouble. Uh, let me get out of your way. Uh, <laughs> let's forget this happened, shall we? I do remember one little thing. Apparently, Golvar and this chick over here have a thing. I remember when I was off screen looking Welcome, for love. information about the DLC. I walked into her house and they had like a love note sitting on the table. So, they're a thing. Good to know, right? Alright. Oh, I want to find Rikus. We'll go down there in a second, but I want to find Rikus and see what he says about me wearing his armor. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're in his. We have his armor on right now. I, I, I want it to be like on the bless, like the breastplate that says Rikus. And then it's like looking at his own set of armor. Let's see. What's up, Rikus? Wait. Are you wearing... Strange. You're wearing the same armor as me. I mean, it's exactly the same. We'll see if there's any... What about it? Oh, is there anything? Okay, there's no added information. Why? It's just like... Wait a minute, you have the same armor as me. Oh, what the fuck is it? Alright, was that stealing? Nope, okay. Just a random chest. Parkour. 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 Oh, another chest. Nice. Okay. I was like, why is there a chest on the house? But uh, who knows? Oh, wow. You can even see, like, the fire from, like, the Serterion. I think that's from when he hit me, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, yeah, this door is not even posted. It's dangerous. Weird. Alright, so now we have the full set of armor. We can actually go below the city now. Man, it's super dark. I don't think I have a torch on me in my inventory somewhere. I never use torches. I don't even have... I think I already looked it up if I had... No, we don't have the... Any spell, really. I wonder if we use like a lightning cloak if it will help us. 
Not really. Doesn't really give off much of a... Much of a... Oh, this is... Oh, I never read the corpse. Lendarius' corpse. Oh, that's, uh... I think that was Brandis' uh, friend that came down here with him. Smelter? Holy shit, it's dark. Whoa, what the fuck? 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 Ah! Why is there a magical anomaly down here? Oh, it broke me. Excuse me? There we go. Uh. Alright. What just. Was it because I have a spell on? Am I going the right way now? Oh, I hit him and it broke it. Okay, no. We need to go this way. Alright. So far, so good. We're not getting irradiated. We'll just head down this dark, dreary path. Some gold ore? Jesus. I wonder if this has always been radiated or if there's like been miners down here or something. Oh god. Oh god, magic anomalies go away. Uh four? Four is my action. Yes. Uh, oh god, please don't kill me. They're like wisps. They're like annoying wisps. I'm just gonna wait for my action to kill it because I can't really do anything about it. Oh god. Alright, it's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Alright, let's run down here, see if there's anything at the bottom quickly. I don't want to fight any more freaking magical anomalies. An anomalies. And enemies. Alright. Maybe this is if there's an evil dude watching everything you do, he would be definitely down here. Oh fuck. Oh, more fucking fuck. I don't wanna fight him. Uh oh. Uh. Keep sneak. Why doesn't this count as a murder? I'm killing magical beings here. Archery 96, alright. We're pretty much a level 100. We're probably gonna have to switch to a different form of combat if we're already at level 100 if we wanna get red scale to level 81. Alright, please, for the love of God, be the end of this tunnel. This is like reminds me of like Black Rock or Black Reach? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Alright. Keep winding down. Is he gonna be like standing here at the bottom? Just chillaxing. Uh oh. Light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like it's a wise decision to save here. Just in case. Dwarven Dome. A strange in energy radiates all around you. Uh oh. He has a full set of armor like me. Curious. Ah, and here you are. I've been waiting for you, Dovahkiin. You know me as Dovahkiin, huh? Of course. To me. 
Your memories are an open tomb. To begin with, I know you have taken many lives in cold blood. Lucky guess. And I know you have dabbled in petty thievery, stealing the meager possessions of your own kind. Is that all? I know you have used treacherous poisons to debilitate your enemies. That one's not true. Liar. Alright, you got me. I also know you have come from the future. And why is that? Is your desire for power so great that you would break even the laws of time for it? It makes no difference. You will not take it from me. You would not be so foolish as to break my law. You mean the dwarves' law? I mean my law. I made it because your kind would be incapable of order or peace without it. So that would make you... That makes me the arbiter. I am also the founder. I discovered this site millennia ago in the deposit of Ethereum beneath us. I laid the foundations and I watched my children grow and learn and use the Ethereum to create marvels, technological wonders. But they grew quarrelsome and used their knowledge to create weapons to use against their own kind and worse, their own father. So I confiscated their weapons and declared my law that each and every one of my children would live in perfect order or they would not live at all. And here I am, millennia later, still waiting for children worthy of this city. And for my patience, it seems my reward is a visit from you, Dovahkiin. Well, why have you traveled through time to come here? What is it you seek? Hmm. I have a couple, have a couple questions for you. Ah, if only you could read my memories as I read yours. Very well. Ask your questions. I'm really curious about this guy. Holy shit. Um, so you're the one that's been killing all these people? You flock here your kind, like moths to a flame, driven by greed and the lust for power. You are warned about my law, and when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing death upon yourselves. So you ask if I am the one killing your kind, and I say no, you kill yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. Alright. How long have you been down here? Two thousand years, in your terms. But time is different down here. I count time in waves, generations. Civilizations. Damn, dude. You and your kind up above are number 322. Holy crap. There's been 322 groups of people who's lived here that have all died before us. How have you lived this long? You wish to be ageless like me. I didn't ask that. I asked how you're still alive. Time passes differently in here. It would take an eternity just to explain it to you. Alright. What happened to the rest of the Dwemer people? It is not my place to reveal that secret to you, Dovahkiin. But when they moved on from this world, I was left behind. 
So you see the energy that has He's the last swimmer, huh? All this time. It anchored me here. I could not leave this place if I wanted to. That's all the questions I had. You wish to be ageless. Oh no, no. I, I had the questions I had. So I see. Now state your purpose here. All right, let's see if we can kill him real quick. It's time to put your in put an end to your law. You come here, hands stained in blood from the most vile of sins, without a noteworthy felerous act to your name. I'm Dovakin. And you seek to lecture me in matters of law. I am not interested in hearing what you have to say. Your presence here aggrieves me. You will die. Alright, yeah, I think he's gonna be pretty strong, so we're going to save. Grab. Oh, he's souping up a big powerful spell there. Alright, Arbiter. Oh we to, oh we broke the law? He's still alive? Ugh. Oh fuck my fucking no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit, that's the wrong spell. Uh four. Four hits. Get him. He fucking made me drop my bow. Alright. There we go. Three. Alright. Arbiter. No. Oh god. Oh. Not today. Alright. We're not doing so well. Where did he go? Where did his body go? Oh, did we did it disappear? Oh there it is. I wanna take his helmet off and see what his freaking I don't know what we have to do now. I was getting some good light here. I'll flip over, Arbiter. Master Chief would be upset. Huh! Alright. The Arbiter's helmet. Oh, he burned. Travel back in time and show the Arbiter's helmet to him. What was that? Um... I missed that. Was it part of this? Travel back in time and show the Arbiter's helmet to him as proof of your deeds. Alright, so we gotta go back to the lake house, run down here, and show him the helmet. But that is it for this episode. We do not have the time to actually do that. So, we're gonna call it uh, an episode here. And next episode, we'll go ahead and return the helmet to the Arbiter and show him we mean business. But anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Clint. Sign out.